Hello Leos and welcome to your birthday month reading. Dear Leo, if you are new to my channel, I suggest you please do subscribe so that you're notified every time I release a new video. So let's get started for the Sun, Moon and Rising Leos. But before we get started, I would like to say a very happy birthday to you, my dear Leos. May God bless you abundantly, take you through all uh, the hardships and get your boat to the destination of success. May you get lots of luck, love, success and prosperity in your life. Uh, my dear Leos, this is my wish and my prayer for you all. So may God bless you all. Enjoy your birthday. So let's get started. Hmm. It starts very, very well for the sun, moon and rising Leos. It starts with a feminine energy. This is what I see over here. I see that there is this... Uh, Feminine energy that you are going to be dealing with in the first week, either for your work, for your personal, uh, for per for your personal purpose, or it can also be regarding um, your health, or uh, it can also be regarding something spiritual. At this point of time, there is a feminine energy who is going to help you, my dear Leo's, in the first week uh, of August. This person is very level-headed, very balanced. Um, uh, feminine energy uh, I almost see um, you know a very uh, good friend I would say a very honest uh, uh, energy this is what I see somebody who doesn't you know is who's not cloudy in in her head it's very sorted out you know like this is this and that is that and you know, doesn't mix work and sentiments together when she works she works and when she uh, is on the sentimental level she's on the sentimental level so you know it's completely sorted out completely balanced and uh, well driven person uh, through the spiritual guidance also I would like to say this person can be a good friend of yours this can be a mentor uh, a kind of a teacher who comes into your life and teaches you how to walk this person can also be somebody who is helping you out in a monetary way, helps you out uh, regarding your finances, how to deal with it, or your business, how to deal with it, a kind of uh, a kind of a person who is, you know, uh, very good at what she does. Okay. It can be a sisterly energy also, it can be a colleague and for the single Leos I can see a person who is, um, you know, uh, very intelligent, very smart and very sorted out and very honest. Uh, so they can uh, meet this kind of a potential partner in the first week. All in all, I see that it's a very wonderful energy of support, of care and of sorting out something that seems to be muddled up in your life. Or maybe if you were going through some difficult patch, then this is a person who is going to help you out to sort out your matters or um, this lady is going to uh, give you some good advice and suddenly your eyes open to the truth. Okay. And then we go to the second week. And this is a very, very beautiful energy. I see this energy is about... Uh, Overcoming obstacles and reaching the victory post. There can be some kind of obstacles that have been there uh, since some time. And as far as your sentimental life is concerned, my dear Leos, I am seeing that uh, at this point of time, uh, I am seeing that you can expect only the best regarding your sentimental life. I am seeing that the love is going to triumph over all the obstacles and things are going to get sorted out for some Leos who have been having problems regarding their sentimental life. I'm seeing a blooming of a relationship taking place for some of the Leos. This is what I'm seeing and I see that there is a lot of happiness and joy that that comes your way in a very short period of time. So most probably you are uh, you are celebrating your birthday um, with uh, your friends and loved ones or you know somebody you were hoping to get in touch with and fell off uh, you know uh, fell out of uh, uh, the relationship or touch uh, will get back in touch with you in the second week this is what I see for some of the Leos but I see that happiness is confirmed the second week is all about having 
the joy of being loved, the joy of being, uh, you know, happy and, uh, yeah, just that feeling of harmony, this feeling of um, love and uh, be loved. And uh, all those people who care for you are going to show up in the second week and show how much they uh, they like you and they love you and how much you mean to them. This is what I'm seeing over here. And also I'm seeing that some new contacts are going to be established in the second week for you, dear Leo. Some new contacts, some good rewarding contacts come your way in the second week. This is what I'm seeing. Now I'm seeing the third week. And as you can see, my dear Leos, the third week is a wonderful energy. This energy is uh, the energy of having the Divine Mother's hand upon you. So if your own mother is in another realm, I see her intervention through your dreams and all you will, you know, or signs. There can be some signs that she sends to you if she's in another realm. And if she's upon this earth, uh, then I am seeing that you are going to be guided by her as well as the Divine Mother Universe is going to guide you in the third week, my dear Leos. And this is a very wonderful energy that I am seeing because you are going to need the protection and guidance upon you on a certain uh, path that you are on. And whatever you can expect in the third week is a holy protection, a divine protection upon you. And it's a very motherly protection. Maybe somebody is sending their divine motherly guidance and protection upon you in the third week. This is what I'm seeing. Also, you will be very good at discriminating things from good to bad. And you know, like what is right for you, what's wrong for you. Now you, are, you have grown up. In your birthday season, you have you have just grown up into another person. You have gone through the difficult tests now. And now you feel loved. Now you feel uh, that self-love is very important. Before you give that love to someone else, you have to love yourself. Because if you don't love yourself, then nobody is going to return it back to you. What you do to yourself, you send those vibes outside. And that gets you know, rebounced upon you. So make sure in the third week that these eyes of yours, the third eye of yours opens. The discrimination power uh, gets rebirthed inside of you, my dear Leos. And because of that, you will realize that uh, finally things are so easy, but I have been complicating certain things uh, in my life. And now I, that I see the clear picture in front of me now I know where I have to go and what I have to do uh, this is going to be the thing that I am seeing in the third week for you and uh, regarding your work your job you're going to be protected um, even if uh, you find some challenging situation in your work place my dear Leos know that it is a protection it's a blessing in disguise so nothing to worry about okay in your sentimental life, in your regarding your health, you're going to be protected. So in all the ways, the third week is all about divine protection. You will sail um, through this week with, you know, with the angels surrounding you. This is what I feel. This divine light of the mother is around you, my dear Leos, and is taking you through. So this is uh, a time to make a wish. I would say when a divine energy like this appears, make a wish and tell them what do you want in this week, in the third week, manifest, uh, put your wishes out, write uh, a letter uh, to the divine power and tell the divine power what would you like, uh, my dear Leos, in your birthday month. And most probably this wish can get granted and make sure you don't make a wish uh, that is you know, somewhere unspiritual in nature that is not uh, going at par uh, with your mission on this earth because this is why sometimes the wishes get rejected because that is destructive for you. So just make a wish that whatever is good for you uh, and your evolution and can bring you real happiness, go for that. All right, my dear Leos. And then we go to the last week. 
and this is a wonderful week it is about partnership uh, for some of the leos uh, they will be uh, they will be doing a partnership with somebody regarding um, their job uh, okay this is going to be a business partnership for some of the leos uh, this is going to be a marriage partnership uh, the marriage of hearts is taking place here the marriage of minds uh, takes place over here May, most probably a new project is born out of this marriage uh, in the last week of uh, august uh, and i also see that um, some of the leos will take a break with their loved one and will spend more time with their loved one or a short holiday is taken or a, you know a weekend you take and you go with your loved one or with your family you are spending more time more quality time and i'm seeing that um, it is really the last week is all about collaborations uh, regarding all the fields of your life it can be for your business for your sentimental life it can also be uh, regarding uh, your how can i say yeah something regarding your health also if you have been suffering then in the last week you know you you go to somebody and that kind of that partnership or that kind of a journey starts with them maybe a therapist uh, a therapist uh, that you go to and they you know that journey starts with them where they help you out uh, in something this is what i am seeing for you dear leos all in all a very wonderful wonderful time for some of you good news regarding job can Uh, can come up in the uh, last week this is what i am seeing my dear leos for you in the last week uh, some of you can sign a contract or new job uh, can be signed or you can make a commitment uh, for some new venture or you know buying something also at this point of time um or some of you might get married in the last week of august also so congratulations for that and um, i'm seeing that uh, you will get a strong support in the last week uh, of uh, august this is what i'm seeing for you my dear leos so all in all a wonderful blessed month uh, guys ahead use it wisely all these energies to your advantage okay and make the most of it and enjoy your lovely birthday and get all your loved ones around you and cut that nice yum yum cake and all have all the goodies and may the universe bestow you with the best best gifts that you deserve so much you have come a long way my dear leos you've gone through a lot and you are emerging into a wiser stronger and a prosperous soul so on this i say happy birthday again my dear leos and enjoy uh, this birthday month of yours thank you for listening please do like share and comment and i shall see you baby leos growing up in the next month until then take good care of yourself bye bye god bless bye